Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel. And uh, I told you I was going to talk a little bit about Planet X uh, this evening, and I have not really put everything together yet on Planet X, uh, some of the things I wanted to talk to you about. But I did bring up uh, Mr. MBB333, his channel here, because he did po publish, he's actually done this twice now, about a week ago he published where two different people sent in videos for him. Uh, definitely not uh, what you call refractions. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to show you what refractions are just from when the, when the videos are playing uh, here uh, that, that he shows there. But these are very compelling. And of course, I have heard uh, quite often that Planet X, uh, when it does become visible, is going to be impossible to hide. Uh, I have heard different ideas of it coming from him behind the sun, etc. Uh, so I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to make of it here. But what I do want to also get into this evening with you is Mike from around the world. Uh, in this video here with Paul Bagley, I've, I've got Daily Excellent, uh, his program where it's placed here. We're going to play some clips here for you. It's talking about some entities that are coming in the not so distant future that are pretty much going to ba basically do a shock and awe and uh, convince the world of their religious side. They're going to be bringing out uh, ancient documents from the Vatican. They're going to really try to prove their uh, their case there. What I do appreciate that Mike says in here is he doesn't believe them. He doesn't believe them to be godly whatsoever. And as a result of that, I'm going to play for you where I've already shared this information with you eight months ago when I talked about Ra the Sun God and their uh, speaking with the U.S. government, trying to, uh, or you know, I got the first information on that and how that they're going to try to uh, convince the world that they were the ones that were, that they sent Jesus, they sent Muhammad, all kinds of things. going to play some of that for you here. In fact, that's only been on Patreon. I thought I'd made this public before, but I guess I did not because uh, I still have it as unlisted on my Stephen Benoon channel. By the way, those of you that don't know, I do have a channel called Stephen Benoon. Uh, on YouTube, 10,000 subscribers there. You might want to join over there. Uh, that's normally where I host the uh, videos here for uh, the for our um, uh, Patreon channel. And occasionally I make some of those public as well so you can see them yourself. Uh, we're going to be looking at that there. Also want to uh, look a little bit about where uh, Barry Chamish, uh, very... I consider Barry, Barry a friend, um, and uh, Barry had been on our program before on Israeli News Live. Uh, in fact, here we wrote the article when he passed away, included one of the interviews I'd done with Barry there. Barry lived just north of me there uh, when I was down in Fort Myers there. Uh, he is certainly greatly missed. Very renowned journalist, and Barry uh, also... Uh, he spoke about the return of the giants. And uh, when he talks about giants, we're not talking about 20 foot tall giants, but rather anywhere from seven to nine foot tall giants from 1993 to 1995, where that happened in Israel. And Barry was a, an investigative journalist uh, who killed Yitzhak Rabin. He's very famous for writing that book there. And, uh, and, and Barry has told me a lot about the story there about the uh, Rabin assassination. In fact, the reason Barry had to live in Florida was because he had been, uh, there had been two attempts on his life uh, while he was in Israel for exposing these things. And, uh, and, and Barry was just, him and Joel Bainerman both, both men lost their lives. In fact, Barry, right before he passed away, told me, he said, Steve, I think they're trying to get take me out again. And uh, he said, I don't expect to be here much longer. And then sure enough, the next thing I know, he allegedly dies of a heart attack. So I'm still very suspicious about that myself. Um, you know, uh, whether or not that really happened to him. Uh, let's get started, though. I want to just take you here to MB, Mr. MBB333, and uh, definitely you might want to subscribe to his channel there. He does some incredible work, um, always uh, tries to really uh, weed out things, uh, doing his own investigation to see if they're really true or not. So I really appreciate that about Mr. MBB333 uh, on his program there. Uh, let's take a look at what he has right here. By the way, remember when I talk about refractions? Right there on your screen, you see that light right there? That's the refraction on a screen. So when you're taking images during the daytime and you're taking pictures of the sun, and you may not see that jumping around on your camera, but when you take that picture, that thing may be still sitting up there in the sky somewhere. And like in this case here, if I were to take and just do a, a still shot, 
and uh, and send it to you. And I'll just give you a good idea here how that would work. Let's just say I took that as a picture right there, right? And then I took and I and I send that to you. Uh, that you would think, well, wow, there's a planet there, and you think there's a planet there, and maybe even one right there, because it's a it's a refraction from the lens. Now, in this case here with a video, it's easier to determine what's refraction, what's not, because as the camera is moving, uh, the refraction is moving too because no matter of the movement what of the I lens. Do, but that is not moving. Move. Okay? Now, now look, now the refractions are having quite a few different pieces in there, starting to turn and look like a winged type of uh, shape there. If you watch movies on TV a lot of times, especially when they're doing the camera showing outside and it catches the sun out of the corner of the camera, uh, you'll see all those types of refractions. And a lot of times, even that big round looking thing that looks like Planet X might be, you know, uh, with a small little dot like that in there, uh, looks like a refraction. Uh, or it looks like a planet when it's actually only a refraction there. All right, in this case here, though, this girl here definitely has something beside the sun. It's not moving, so therefore we know it's not a refraction. All right, she's in Ohio. Now the next one is going to be Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. See this. I don't care what nobody say, this is live. You see the little green ball bouncing around on my camera? Don't even worry about that. Look up here in my sky. Look. Look. What is that? They don't expect nobody to look directly that at the sun. Green ball is the refraction what is of that? What is that? You can't tell me that that's not three planets in the sky right there. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not talking about the green light bouncing around. I'm talking about live on my camera. Look at this. What is that? It's moving. That's the sun to the left, something else beside it to the right, and then there's another planet right there to the right beside it. It is 6.52 in the morning in Los Angeles, California. Anybody with the iPhone camera any camera can see this with yourself, with your own eyes. Look at this. Look at this. So I just, you know, these are very compelling images. And, and quite frankly, I don't know what to tell you about it. Um, you know, maybe there is something to it. All right, let's get over here. I want to jump back over here. This is um, Mike from Around the World on Paul Bagley's program there. He's there every Friday night. And, uh, and uh, Pastor Anthony there has permission from actually from, uh, I think from Paul Begley as well, but I know from Mike from around the world to be able to publish his work. Let's listen in to here on uh, this broadcast here. Experts and people who act like they knew this for a long time, that they knew it was coming, this and the other, and uh, they're going to take control of that conversation. But even they are going to be baffled because the people themselves are coming forward. Now, how does that fit in? So, how is that going to fit into? So are you saying whistleblowers are coming forward from some of these uh, hidden agendas or uh, well, not whistleblowers? Budgets? No, uh, not whistleblowers. Oh, the actual entities or different groups of people or different entities? Different people, inhabitants, uh, whatever you want to call them. All right, uh, all just right. faraway immigrants, whatever you want to call them. They're going to be among the people every day, all day, right? Every day, other, all day. Are you saying so from other planets? Are you saying people? The nature of things here on this earth and what people know is gonna it's gonna be changed. It's not gonna be the glory picture everybody thinks. It's gonna be a, a true paradigm Hybrids? shift. Something that that uh, it's just gonna be one of those situations. Nephilim. That, what you know what? If you look, I'd I'd, I'd lean more towards uh, transhumanism. Well, no, not that. Okay. It's, it's beyond mankind, really. It really is. It's beyond mankind. The Vatican is in coordination with the same with the same timeline, right? Oh, yes. The same timeline. Okay. That's why they're talking about the Vatican archives. Yeah. All of a sudden, they start talking about yep. the Vatican archives, yep. Yep. all for no reason, right? And then you have the UAP disclosure uh, in the USA. Everybody was waiting for the USA to see what would happen. So they have this guy come forward talking about the UAPs, but then they trying to come back behind him and discredit him. Let me move a little bit more forward here, because uh, I want you to see where 
Mike is against these entities that are coming. Um, and he seems to indicate there's a whole bunch of them coming. Listen in. And it really takes old experts who had the right picture, right, but couldn't prove the science. Uh, it takes them and it throws them in the back corner somewhere. Wow. A simple change in the word UFO to UAP. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, a simple change in the word aliens to EBE or Ebens or whatever you want to call it. Right, them, right. That, that, that simple change takes the old experts who really dug up everything and had beautiful theories that were right on the money in a lot of cases. It takes them and their books and their writings and everything else and it cancels it. Out and so you picture. have a brand new group of people who come forward, right? Who start talking about this stuff again, but with a new audience. Right. I see, I see. Like I said before, a long time ago, you remember I said they're going to come out. The government has to save face. So they're going to come out like they, you know, they already knew about this stuff. So everything is being cataloged yeah, right now. I got everything it. is being cataloged. Is part this passball? They have to get ready because uh, they've been given a timeline too. Okay. And 20, people are about to see a very by real the way, picture the time frame. of what's going to happen. But I'll, I'll say it again: the Bible is the blueprint. Is your best informative um, I appreciate source this right now the Mike best true here. source? Really and do. if anybody else goes to another source, they're highly deceived and will be deceived, right? And when you see things in front, if if, if somebody saw something in front of their faces interacting with them, that doesn't mean you believe everything they say. I see. I believe the biblical narrative. Right, amen. I know that these things are liars, but they won't. They just won't seem like that to everybody else, and they're not going to appear the way people think they are. No, it will be shock and awe, right? It'll be shock and awe. And they will seem like that they're, you know, man's brothers or whatever the case is. Okay. Man's brothers. Listen. Are we talking right? about the angels of light? <clears throat> Paul's trying his best to get the answer out of uh, Mike, uh, but let me kind of share with you some of the information I shared eight months ago. Those uh, extraterrestrial beings is going to claim that he is Ra, that the, he is the Egyptian Ga Ra. Uh, and you want to talk about some confusion that's going to be coming. Uh, he's, you know, also the, 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 the creation story that they have is that they're going to speak about how that the humans were created as bioweapon slaves. And, uh, and then e e even worse is that Ra has a different story when it comes to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Watch this. And that different story has a lot to do with the Jewish people weren't so responsible for his death in the first place. It's basically going to be an inclusive uh, faith, an inclusive religion. And they have been working on this for a long make time. Make sure they exonerate uh, the Jews. They're, they're the working on Jesus. trying to figure out how to hurdle over the issue with the cross uh, and uh, the entities have, have, as I've been told, they have, they have thought this all out. And, uh, but one of the things that was shared with me in, in, in this information the other day was that talk about the scripture where it says, uh, you know, people being confused, you know, and, and that's actually going to the scripture where it talks about, uh, how that, you know, that, 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 that <clears throat> the very elect could be deceived. And, and what he's implying is that the story can be so believable, the way they're going to lay this out, so believable yeah. that if it wasn't for the Heavenly Father, uh, people would be deceived. And we're going to go much deeper into this. I have a meeting coming up um, very soon, and I'm going to be getting more of this information about what's going on. But I wanted to be able to share this with you now. The entity, one of the entities of the extraterrestrials, fallen angels, is claiming that he's Ra, the Egyptian god Ra. And they are going to be bringing an, an inclusive faith and religion. They will claim that they brought Jesus, that they will claim uh, to the Muslims they, they, they sent Muhammad, etc., They'd be so close. They'd deceive. They're going to tell the people that they tried to get us set up going on the right direction, but we messed it all up. 
that it's basically our fault that we're in the condition we're in. And they're going to say that there are saviors of this world. They're going to talk about the pyramids. They're going to tell you how that the pyramids actually produce electricity. Uh, and they do. That is true. They actually do produce electricity. You can basically drive your car down the road if it's an electric car and it'll charge from the air itself. They're going to tell you how that you could have free electricity. They're going to come in here and they're going to uh, have the, the ability to heal you of the diseases. In fact, that's one of the reasons why these diseases are being put out right now on the people. And they're going to put out worse ones and everything because this is the whole thing. They're going to be the ones that have the cure for everything. Uh, so there's a lot of things that could be said about those things there. But we had already brought this information out eight months ago. Twice I brought this out shared with you the intel that I was getting on it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really appreciative that Mike is bringing this out and also that he's recognizing that this is not a good thing. And of course, the Vatican working with them, as, uh, as I pointed out to you, Israel will be exonerated. They'll, they'll basically try to, in fact, they actually have shown video footage of the crucifixion to people in the intelligence world in Washington. They've already shown them video footage of what the crucifixion actually was. Now, it could be manipulated for all, all we know, but uh, and no doubt will be, but that's supposed to be what helps exonerate the Jews of his death. So, I mean, this is getting pretty strange, pretty quick, without a doubt. Now, speaking of, uh, of tech aliens and things like that, let me share with you as well, Barry Chamish, the late Barry Chamish, uh, and he, and speaking in here, Barry, uh, I'm going to play a little clip here where he talks about, you know, he really believes he has to have real evidence, but he talks about five different cases of women, they're all 39 years old, seeing aliens seven foot tall. And Barry has investigated every one of these. He knows this to be true. And, uh, and then also one man that's seen one nine foot tall. Listen in. opinion, have had seven indisputably documented uh, first, uh, close encounters. There are many more, but I like physical evidence. I'm, I'm really very tough about this. I want my little silicon uh, shards, and I want my hand to turn red. I'm very, I want a stink that I can't explain. Uh, I'm very, very, I have very, very harsh rules of journalism when, when I investigate these things. So I found seven. Yet seats, come on, eight and a half kilometers of tracks. That'll do. Uh, that, that was the nine-foot-tall giant uh, that, that he speaks about there. Uh, when they came there, there were tracks that led away for eight kilometers from the house where it was at. 35 centimeters is how deep the front part of the foot is. He says it's kind of like the creature walked on its toes, so to speak. Uh, at nine foot tall, he said, but they estimated that he would have to weigh nearly a ton to be able to put that deep of an imprint into the ground. Uh, he said the police tried to write it off, the Israeli authorities tried to write it off as just being a camel. Uh, he said, but the problem is a camel with boots. How are you going to solve it with that? Um, let's listen into a couple of these real quick. She argues a bit. She says, you hurt my dog. He says, I can hurt you too, but I don't feel like it. This alien was a thug. You've got no fantastic messages of wisdom from these aliens. They told her to get lost and they meant business. So there's a TV show on in Israel. You just have too many giants running around. Uh, the country is, uh, wants to have the answer. So they have a TV show with Shosh and Yehud and a few ufologists. And to the utter shock of the announcer, the audience believes that there's giants running around the country. People phone. Two more women. Clara Kahanov from Cholon and Batya uh, Shimon from Rishon LeZion. Now we're away from Kadima. We have a new access form just south of Tel Aviv. Cholon, uh, Rishon LeZion, and I'll get seats. I'll show you in one second what that's all about. I phone up Clara Kahanov and she says, yes, it was a giant. I don't want to be publicized, but you're... Same thing, round-headed, bald, giant. Same thing. Batya Shimon was much more forthcoming. I've had many, many conversations with her. Batya Shimon had a wonderfully ridiculous experience. Three in the morning, in come two aliens, beam, she's not on a ground floor, she's on a fifth floor apartment. In they come, and as usual, they telepathically tell her, you're not going to be afraid, we're not here to harm you, 
And she believes them. She thinks they have a pleasant face. She likes them. They roam around her apartment dusting shelves with a foul-smelling sulfuric material of some kind. One of them goes into her son's bedroom and sees the aquarium. Son has an aquarium. Gets all excited in some alien way. This one is also floating on his feet upright. Calls over his pal. They go into the bedroom. They both start pointing at these fish. They're very excited about these fish. They've had enough. Out they go. Next night, the whole gang comes in, 12 of them. One after another, floating in the apartment. They're walking around, they're dusting, they're picking things up, they're looking at it. They thank her, they go like this, out they go. Now, not that these are friendly people, just so you understand, Batya and Hana, I've spoken to them many times since, they're haunted. Wherever they go, their voices are called, their names are called, uh, both reported pregnancies that disappeared. They couldn't understand these pregnancies. Who knows what happened to them, but only Tsiporet is happy about this particular uh, phenomena in their lives. Batya's aliens were seven feet tall, if you notice, round, seven foot tall, bald, round eyed, no nose, barely a nose, metallic clothing. They're all the same. Now, needless to say, statistically, what are you going to do? You've got now five women. They don't know each other. They are all the same age, 39. Go figure that one out. They're all white-collar workers. There seems to be some genetic basis for all this. This happened in Israel, 1993 to 1995, and then it mysteriously all stopped. Now, if you notice, though, too, he mentioned about the women being having pregnancies that just mysteriously ended. And of course, a lot of those happen like that. We know that these women are abducted, they're taken out, their memories are wiped. The babies, they're only normally preg pregnant for about three months. The baby is removed, and then from uh, different information that I've been told over the years there, the baby is then uh, finished being incubated uh, and then goes to live with the aliens because the baby is half alien, half human. Kind of sounds like the Nephilim that we read about in the Bible, where the uh, fallen angels sleep with the women and create the children by them and end up with giants on the earth. Who knows what the heck is coming next? All I know is it's getting stranger and stranger. And, uh, and, and then, of course, we see this thing about Planet X. Is it really true that that's Planet X coming from behind the sun? I don't really have the answer to that. I do know there's a celestial body out there. I've been told about that. I've, I've not been told that it was Planet X, uh, but I have been told the celestial body that's out there is wreaking havoc on the Earth as far as because of what is the effects that it's having on the sun, which in turn are having effects here on the Earth. And uh, those effects there uh, soon will also be greeted by entities that will be coming from that uh, celestial body. And I have been told over and over and over that 2026, though, is still the time frame of when these entities will actually come to Earth. Now, could it be sooner? Could be. I don't know. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here on our Patreon channel. Good evening and God.